Hello, my name is Matt Sheehy, and this is another thing I built. This is called an ROV, stands for a Remotely Operated Vehicle. Uh, I didn't actually build this entire thing. Uh, I'm in a, an after-school club called Smile, Science, Math, Investigative Learning Experience, and some of my friends there actually designed most of the frame. So, what I did was I built the rest of the frame, and I added a robotic arm onto it. So, the way this thing works, is, well, first of all, it actually works underwater. It's a remotely operate, operated vehicle underwater for underwater use. And it has three motors to make it move underwater. We got one motor here that does the up and down in the water. And we have two motors in the back that control left, right, and forwards and backwards. So there's those guys go. So you can make them go left and right depending on either keeping one on, one off, or going in opposite directions. So the next thing is the arm now. The arm was pretty complicated. I used uh, Lego pieces mostly because they're the most easiest things to work with. They're such a wonderful building block. And uh, so we got two axes of movement. We have our uh, up and down, or some, uh, up and down I guess, and then a left, uh, my left and right is not working. There we go and the left and right movement there. We also have the opening and closing of the mat of the uh, hand so you can pick things up. So this all works underwater even though the motors are all exposed to low voltage DC it doesn't really arc between them or go through the water since the water isn't the best conductor. And this all runs off of two nasty uh, 12 volt lithium polymer, no lithium polymer, uh, lead acid batteries. And those provide plenty of energy for these little motors. I also have this little, these little boxes that have the control on them. But this whole thing is also has an umbilical cord, which uh, carries electricity to the motors. This is just uh, Ethernet, two Ethernet cables, uh, one controller for the arm, and one controller for the movement of the vehicle. The vehicle also has uh, star or foam little noodle things to keep it neutrally buoyant so it can go up and down very easily. So with these motors they have a lot of speed and just about no torque so one of the hardest problems with this thing was trying to gear down those uh, motors to make them move a lot slower and have a lot more torque. So you see a lot of this is just huge gear ratios just to really cut down on the speed. Uh, also my arm has a huge counterweight back here because these motors are not strong enough to make the thing move up and down. Also uh, to make this side to side movement work along with the rotational movement I actually had to cut a groove through the PVC and added the zip tie here almost like a notch so then the ROV or the, so that this piece can slide back and forth on that piece without rotating the way it moves back and forth is using that string it rotates around on that string and causes it to pull back and forth this is just the uh, cords connecting to these two motors. Uh, the rotation part works uh, by I drilled these PVC pieces a little bit bigger than they should be so then the PVC can rotate easily inside them without getting stuck. This one goes all the way through attached to a gear here and when you rotate that gear it rotates the whole entire arm. So, you can see. so similar thing for the closing and opening of the arm or hand I guess you call it. Um, again big gear ratio to cut down and just kind of winds around, she's kind of winds around that. And this is a rubber band down here too, just to open the arm after it shuts. So that's about it. There it goes again. Cool. This project was pretty cool. It works very well. I have no good video of the thing actually working underwater well, but I'll put that out soon once my pool opens up and I can test it in my pool. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool. This took me, I think, two eight hour days, which was not bad at all. And it was a lot of fun to build. So that's it. Thanks for listening.